Tam. So, so to start off the night, we've got Taminus and Gay. I did not expect Tamnus to have this much of a problem with a, a white chair. Stick, <laughs> stick into the tried and true Joker, and Gay going with their classic Ryu. And this match is underway. Who <laughs> there? You always have to be on the lookout for the Rebels guard against Joker. <laughs> Ryu being is very much a projectile focused character. We'll see how much of those come out and how effectively Gay can use it. Does still have some strong KO power that almost did the trick, just not quite. Certain another confirm would probably do it. But Tamnus has the Arsene really make Oh no, it's already gone. That's, that's a great spot dodge for him and read from day to take the first stock. Uh, I'm not sure if he could get any, how much more he could get off of those Shakumetsus. Who <laughs> going for the gun gimps. Huh. Tamna seems to be a bit overwhelmed right now or just off his game. Gay is wiping the floor with him right now. Things could change turn quickly. And there's the stock. Just just in time for the Arsene to, to run out. It needs to make this punish count. Uh, that was definitely suboptimal. Back air, not quite enough. Well, falling guns. Oh. Oof, keep, manages to keep getting off stage and now ooh, good call out on the jump jump there with the Tatsumaki taking the second stock it has a sizable lead but uh, Tamnus is rapidly closing the gap that is going to do it do it don't think you can get back from that nope with that the percentage gap is closed Things are not looking good for Gay here. Yeah, it seems like Taminus is the... Okay, there we go. Good confirmed to... Now has to deal with the Arsene, which is always the scariest part of the fight. Ooh, that could be it, folks. Ugh, missing the Tatsumaki, allowing Gay to get back to stage. Ooh, the hard read attempt there. But gets... Gets the back air. Uh, the, is that no? But dangerously close to stealing the stock with that. Very, very even game right now. It is going to be a lot trickier for Tamnus to finish out the stock here without the Arsene, though. And there we go. <sighs> that game almost slipped from Gay's grasp, but he, with one sure you can, he. Resolidified it. <laughs> Damn, it's taking a lot of time to decide. Can I pick going to Smashville? Can Gay win another another game here, or is he? Go that is the question. Wait. Wait, what? 
Contaminus with the Link counterpick. Ah, that's a new one. Ah, let's see if he can make this work. He does does have he has played a lot of characters, so this might be do the trick, though. Could just as easily backfire. Big down smash combo, but suddenly gets to put back into disadvantage. Good call out by Gay there with the jab. Ooh, did not respect that bomb, but manages to get back just in time to Tatsumaki Contaminus. Very even percents right now. It all good patience. That was dangerously close to a shield break and the shield poke. Sure, you can for the first stock. Optimal punish there for the 37%. Dang. Another Hadouken confirm. Doesn't get the sweet spot. Probably wouldn't have killed even if it did. But definitely in a really good position. Tamna's finally taking a stock with a confirm into forward smash. Ugh, Tamnus exploding himself there with his own bomb. <laughs> Love the smile he had there. <laughs> Just I had done goof. And there we go. Medium kick into to the to, well, the classic Ryu confirm for the stock. He's clever, but not, still stuck off stage. Almost. Okay, does turn into the confirm. That, it's going to take a lot for Tamnus to take this game back, though. He's going to have to play it very well. Needs to rip. There we go. Big punish on that Shoryuken. Just like in, in the game that's from. It is extremely unsafe on Tanshi on block, so... That, that punish might be what Tamnus needs to get back into this game. Right now, he is playing gay like a fiddle. Hmm. Does fall into that Shokunetsu, though. I uh, feel like he should have gone for a forward smash there. But that, that, was a, that potential confirm off of the boomerang was a big missed opportunity. Yeah, the very dangerous percent. Tamnus is at a very dangerous percent here. Okay, needs doesn't get the confirm for that F smash. This is last hit. Very tense situation. Either any either player could find the finishing blow any set moment now. They are playing incredibly cautious for that reason. Ooh, doesn't find the, the con confirmed to... Ooh. Taminus did the reverse up the... Put him into the end. A very bad situation there. Not, had to... Only way he could have made it out of that situation was to drift to ledge. And, yeah, but, and the tiniest mistake, and it was over. So, and that was a mis indeed a mistake. <sighs> Gay with the upset over Taminus. <laughs> now, who's uh, on stream next? Sounds like. Sounds like we got Polink versus Dark Sun. You want? You're up. Are you? Okay.
Okay, I'm up, folks. See you later. Wins. Stop
Here we've got greed and mint blue. A very even game. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> the, that's a combo you don't see too often. The down smash into death for the stock. I guess it makes sense because I'm not sure if anything else would have been safe there. Forward smash probably would have worked just as fine, but same time. That's a bit not the greatest move in the world. Not a Perhaps better to keep it out of your arsenal so you don't develop a bad habit. And that Nair is will do it. Oof, there we go. That. Eh, it's already gone. Okay, back throw gonna equipment blew off stage. But using the downbeat of reset to neutral. Really good op option for that, so respect the choice. Mint Blue about to win this game. <laughs> I I An ironically greedy move against greed, costing Mint Blue that game. That, uh, that's what happens when you go for the, those things. When they work, it's great. When they don't. Because, yeah, that was absolutely Mint Blue's game to lose, and that's certainly a way to lose it. Oh.
On to game two, which well, throwing away that potential game win is could very easily come back to bite Mint Blue here because that means that Greed now has more chances to get a read on him. And read him he has as he takes that first stock with barely 20% damage to his name. Yep, there we go. Get big punish and further confirm yep, that ZSS forward smash is quite bad. Good neutral B. Gonna keep Mitlu off stage. Okay, there we go. Good punish. <laughs> Trying to get go for the down smash sh shenanigans again. And that was a bit of a weak punish on that on that up B. The, that thing is so unsafe that you can get a ton of different punishes. That could have been an easy forward smash punish. <laughs> Trying to parry the a down air with the landing hitbox. Yeah. yeah. I'll respect the audacity at least. Okay, good spot dodge and still has to be very careful right now. One and that revenge finds its mark. Yeah. And the roll read for the up beef taking the second stock. I'm not sure if that was the optimal punish, but also at that percent, there's only so eh. Live and learn. And that is definitely the stock. Not even a question. Still, Mint Blue has the percentage lead here. Oh, that was a good read on the roll, but wasn't able to capitalize on it, unfortunately, for Mint Blue. Good. Getting a punish. Another good punish. Catching Greed doing the neutral get up. Uh, just barely missing the punish on the up high up B. <laughs> Good for Greed that he jumped there, because that could have been a devastating bury. Uh, a bit of a missed punish opportunity there for Mint Blue. <laughs> what was that? Bounced off Mint Greed without actually hitting him. That was weird. Yeah, that. Oh, I miscounted the stocks. Mint Blue just. Yeah, this. Well, he's been. I don't know if. Uh, that might have actually saved Mint Blue there. Eh, dash attack, just... So, sometimes it's better to go for the guaranteed punishes than the... Ones. <laughs> eh, at this point, the revenge is kind of superfluous, but the... The game refused to let me dash attack. <laughs> One word, well, wonder how things could have gone if he hadn't SD'd that first game, but such is playing Smash. So we, okay, Gay and Aurelius are already playing. Who's good? Looks like next up we might be having Mint Blue and Taminus on stream. Because that's the next match that looks to be available to play. Yep, there we that Mint Blue and Taminus it is.
Also, it is still snowing quite badly out there. If I didn't live so close, I would question my sanity staying here. Okay, there's a character we haven't seen from Tamnus in a while. Wonder how rusty it is or isn't. Not off to the most impressive start here, but here we go. Arc fire, a terrifying ledge trapping option. Using that that Levin sword a lot, which could come back to bite Tamnus. Yep, there it goes. It's gonna be a while before he gets that back. Not really at a percent where it's too much of an issue. Should be able to get it back by the time he needs to go for some stocks. There it is, and like just like that, it's that. Ooh, out of arc fires. That unfortunately misses the confirm. That sh should have been the stock. Eh, up air will do it at that percent. Eleven sword up air especially. Okay, doing the, the up tilt to scoop Camus away. Oh, unfortunately, went too low. Oh, this is the second confirm into arc fire. Big damage opportunity missed. And, oh, t speaking of missed confirms, well, that should be the stock. No! Wow! Never mind, Taminus just barely living it. Living by... That is, is like, perfect directional influence. Very even percents here. It all comes down to find who finds the ki killing blow first for this next stock. And Taminus finally finishes the job. Smash is going to seal it out. 18% lead for, to start the stock for Tam, last stock for Taminus. Not, not enough to be too comfortable. Uh, ooh, yeah, no, nothing too special, but does at least get another up air out of the hurry escape. Snare confirm. No, oh, Mint Blue is not playing around here. Still, it's not over yet. Oh, I'm up again. Again, so see you all later.
wins.
Kazuya Mishima wins.
And here we've got KJ versus Dark Sun. Yeah. Game one with the classic PS2 start. <laughs> two very explosive characters who are who just like to get in their the opponent's face. Or I guess that's more Fox than Kazuya, but yep, there we go. The electric into up B, the classic kill confirm. <laughs> Dark Sun off to a very strong start this game. But KJ is doing some great ledge trapping to try and get back. Ooh, there. Looks like it did get the back. Whew, great call out on that air dodge for the stock. Once again, all, sometimes all you need to do is get a few right reads at the ledge to, to take a stock. It's, it's not, <laughs> Ooh, that was an interesting trade for K, slightly in KJ's favor. But really, spamming the Thunder God for this, that's an odd, odd choice. It does catch him on the side with the grab. Gonna keep, yeah. But KJ f turning the situation around hmm, and gets sent flying by the side B. Well, better than getting s staggered for pretty much a guaranteed stock. Oof, almost lost the stock there, but just not quite at the high enough percent. But that is going to do it. Dar now has the rage drive, which if he Dark Sun can land one of those. That's an instant 40%. Looks like it's already gone. Oof. KJ going deep off stage and it pays off. Taking the stock. Keeping the game very close. It's either player's game still, folks. Dark Sun's starting to be... Dark Sun seems to be in firm control right now, but this is where things start to turn around, and with that, was that a true combo? I don't think so, but either way, that pressure alone closed the gap all by itself. That's now the Raid Drive is online. That's a, that finds its mark, the, the game is almost certainly over. Ooh, I can up smash call out from Dark Sun, however. But that, no, not quite. The Dark Sun messes up the recovery though, and game one to KJ. to go into town and city. Interesting choice from Dark Sun. Maybe some of the more Guess he just wants to the chance to to for to trap KJ without when the platforms are gone. Okay, that's something we didn't see a lot of last game, but from Dark Sun the landing grabs. 
this game just KJ's off to a very good start this game though the rage drive is here that could change things quite quickly Nishima jabbing good jump from KJ there to avoid the laser KJ's playing very cautiously right now. This it kind of has to. Good roll, catch on the roll with the up smash for the first stock. Went through the invincibility. The Darkson gets a grab. Going to put KJ off stage. And KJ's doing some dash attack from it. Chains to get Dark Sun to massive damage. We'll see, but this is right now. This is definitely KJ's game to lose. This needs one confirm or up smash. Oh, Dark Sun finds the up B and does still have the rage drive, which if he can find it would close the gap significantly. Good patience, that move is so obnoxious to try and shield. Okay, there we go. There, There's an attempt. Didn't find its mark though. Ooh, there is gonna eat a punish for that. The rage drive still is off. It's still a threat. He can find it. But once again, KJ finding the roll read to take the stock. Smart use of the. Uh, it's Dark Sun finds a grab though, and with that, the percents are are even on this last stock. Dark Sun's actually done a pretty good job to bring it back. It was, I believe it was a, like a full stock behind, and now it's looking very winnable for him. It's far from over though, folks. Oof. Catching KJ sleeping on the platform with the laser. Good punish on the on the down air, and with that, the percents are even. Oof. Tried to get the grab, doesn't find it this time, and it's gonna throw K KJ off stage. Very dangerous position, and the down air does it. Coming back from a coming back from a full stock isn't nothing. Nothing, and this will not be an Dark Sun with a game on the board. Not gonna go down with that. Out of fight. Going back to town, interesting choice for the KJ. Okay, eats a grab punish for his up tilt shenanigans. Another grab. Woo! Dark Sun just trying to end him with that that side B. Good call out on the roll. Almost taking him to the to blast zone with those up airs. Dark Sun finds a grab gun, put KJ off stage, missing their a rage drive attempt. Ooh, and the up B out of shield for the stop. And still has a rage drive potentially. There we go. That's the first time we've seen it land this this match, and with that, he, Dark Sun has, has a strong 50% lead on this on KJ's second first second stock still last game Dark Sun came back from worse it's not out of the question KJ could do a similar thing 
I don't even know how that... How did that die roll get out in time that quickly? That was... Huh? This is, that's the danger of the, the mashing jab. Sometimes you'll, you'll give the opponent too much time to escape. Okay, good patience from KJ. Not getting too up close and personal. Otherwise, it would have eaten that up smash potentially for the stock. There's an up air going to put KJ off. They are just really respecting each other's space right now, which is reasonable. These characters both have really good options for taking stocks. Dark Sun with the punish on the dash attack for the stock. Now has another rage drive. Using the delayed Mishima jab to really take advantage of the platform. Clever play from Dark Sun. It doesn't, not going to need too much more. Gets the back air to take the stock. Once again, about 50% behind, but that's where he was in the, with the last stock. And he will, ooh, that's a big... Eh, not sure how much of a punish he could have gotten out of that back turn, turned shield. I was hoping the Dark Sun would jump, but Dark Sun was not fighting really. The, the Hell Sweep. <laughs> okay then. Well, that's... That's what some of those seem, not, seemingly not so great options can be good for. The, you throw them out when the opponent least expects it and they're caught completely off guard. Dark Sun now on match point. Game four. JJ's gonna have to win these next two games to take to continue on in bracket. Here we go. Oh, unfortunate for KJ, but still manages to convert. Oh, eats the. Uh, that was a bit of a. Probably should have got grab punish. Probably would have been better than a nair punish on that dash attack. And there goes the stock. Not even gonna charge it, just knows that it'll work and goes straight for that. Not often you see Mish uh, Kazuya break shields, but it can happen. Any character can break shields in the right circumstance. Ooh, there's a good punish. Dark Sun getting a bit greedy with that rage drive and eat and awesome with his st first stock. Goes, there's the electric pushing KJ very far away. Wouldn't be the electric wind god fist if it wasn't so absurdly safe on shield. Ooh, catches him on the later part. Doesn't get the strong hit. Good call out on the roll read. Uh, the down air trade wasn't all bad for Dark Sun there. It did reset to neutral. Allow the re reset to neutral, which is a big deal here. There's the rage drive. Fortunately, wasn't able to capitalize on that electric. Ooh, that's gonna put. Okay, that surprised that KJ lived that. Rage Drive is still a threat, but any probably not going to be go what Dark Sun finishes fishes for because that it's a bit of a waste. Dash attack though, it still has it. If he can find one here, that will give him a big leg up on this. Uh, I feel like he could have gotten a better punish out of that. But finds the up smash punish on the dash attack, so that'll do just fine. Yeah, interesting choice from Dark Sun there, going for the spot dodge.
Just out of range of the grab there. Good punish by KJ. Good, good, uh, good God, win God fist, but there wasn't the electric. Otherwise, that could have been a much bigger deal. Uh, Dark, Dark Sun's in danger, but does have the rage drive, which, there we go. Probably not going to be the stock, but a big chunk of damage out of it. Oof. Uh, uh, we got the forcing. Now Dark Sun's off stage. And the forward smash. Okay, that's a. I haven't seen that all match. On to game five. This is it. Whoever wins here will advance to losers finals against Meeks. Destination. This could be a very fast game, folks. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They're going to be all in each other's grills this entire game, probably. Or at least for quite a bit of it. Dark Suns doesn't get the electric follow up on the down throw. Oof. He gets a nice electric combo out of that exchange. Mashing electrics like a true Tekken player. Here we go. KJ doing his dash and grab. Dash attack shenanigans. Okay. Just going for the simple punishes here. Did he really just try and go for the... Thunder God Fist. Uh, there's an... Uh, eats a grab for that one. And the down air on Ledge catches KJ for the stock. Yeah. <laughs> that KJ, the cheeky... Ver reflect against the laser taking the stock yeah that, that's a nice option to save in the back pocket for when you really need it and last game doesn't get much more needed than this folks using an angle to try and mix up D dark sun's two frame timing or uh, kj just struggling to get a combo started here but when he does he he makes it count. Just boom. 82% to get. Trying to catch Dark Sun jumping. Catches him with the grab. Okay, going for the down smash punish. Good not on him to know that that would work or go for a good read. Good back air, and that snuffs out the rage drive, so Dark Sun no longer has an easy way to cheese out this stock. Catches the back air. I'm with the back air on the ledge. Ugh. Dark Sun getting a very greedy there, and that, with that, costs him the game and match. Up next should be Meeks on stream. So, wouldn't blame KJ if he needs a breather. Well, doesn't look like it's going to be much of a breather. Meeks is ready to rumble.
Wait, trip to where? We ran into each other at Walmart. I saw him at the pharmacy. It was oh. so exciting. It happens. I've run into. I think I've run into. I've run into Greed a few times at Pizza Pie Cafe, and I think Dark Sun too. And or was it Dark Sun? Tuesdays, it's cheap. Okay, neither player using their main. Guess Meeks doesn't feel like playing Samus here, which is a bit understandable. That is a horrendous matchup against Fox. But KJ also going for a pick with the Lucina. And I don't know how legal that, that this is, but it is the first game, so I guess it, you do kind of... There is room for that. And I don't think we have any formal rules on counterpicking anyways. That's outside of maybe the standard loser gets to count... Winner has to pick their character first, and since this is game one, that definitely doesn't apply. Right now, this is definitely looking in favor of Meeks. I mean, in terms of matchups, this is probably slightly in Lucina's favor because Lucina has the has a the range advantage over Mario, so, so it, he, it's um, he has to be the one who who, recover, who who gets in. Interesting. We're not KJ really being really conservative with the upbeat out of shield. I haven't seen any of those yet. This is where we're, Lucina can struggle a bit. It's not always the E. She doesn't always have the easiest ways to take stocks, but edge guarding is absolutely one of the ways she can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, is gonna eat the punish. We're going for the full finisher there, because once you've gone for the finishing hit on Dancing Blade, the opponent knows that they that they they're safe to go for anything they want. Ooh, doesn't it, not able to recover with the, uh, that up the unfortunate SD from KJ. But such is to be expected when you play a less bit of a less familiar character. You know, if you mains you'll know their recoveries like the back of your hand, but sometime with you're still getting used to the secondaries, you, you're liable to make a lot more recovery mistakes. That's a simple forward air punish on the... Yep, that's going to cost him. <laughs> no? Going for the, some bans. A bit of a tricky situation when you're banning against secondaries. KJ going back to his tried and true box. Mm. Meek's going with the all American co colors. America. I 
mean, as I said earlier, the reason Meeks is going for the counter picks here is that is because presumably does really does not want to play Fox versus Samus. And I cannot blame him. But as for Fox versus Mario, hmm, bit of an interesting one. Both characters have a have a significant ladder combo part of their game. <laughs> Speaking of which, to, uh, up tilt into up air for the first stop. So, Fox is a much more pure rushdown, while Mario is much more about about mixing it up with zoning and then co maximizing combo. Because, yeah, like, as we've seen, KJ's Fox has a lot of different ways to build up a big combo, but generally with Mario, your only combo route is up air, well, involves up airs. And it's also a bit, I presume, a bit awkward trying to combo Fox because he's such cause he's a fast faller. <laughs> Great read by KJ, just re recognizing that Meeks is looking for a r roll escape and punishing it. There we go, a very needy up tilt, getting a big combo out of it. Good call out on the dash attack. Oof, just going for the simple... Dash attack two frame. Meeks go trying to end it with the a forward air spike. Now it's back to neutral. How, what's Meeks gonna try and do here? Oh, <laughs> just wait for him to dash attack and punish. Cause yeah, you most characters you're generally not too unsafe if you do something on their shield when they're behind. You're behind them, but Mario is like the opposite. You're gonna die from it doing that. That up smash is one of the best anti cross up in the game. I mean, I, I guess it does come at the downside that Mario's forward out of shield game is ironically a bit weaker. But still has up the, so it's not like he's complete, totally helpless. Yep, this is very much KJ's game to lose. He has every, just needs a few, one or two more good hits to take it. While Meeks is going to need some kind of cheese or B, or just play out of his mind to take the, this. Oh no. Nope, not going to get the full extension into the full ladder combo. But finds the forward smash to steal that game right out from under KJ's nose. And with that, Meeks is on match point. Okay, good jab to force Meeks back. Ooh, not gonna be taking the stock, but definitely getting some nice damage out of that up air. Okay, good call out on the failed tech. KJ getting a bit greedy there and eats a down smash punish for his troubles. <sighs> I 
<laughs> KJ just barely ma avoiding the sneaks up smash there. <laughs> trying to go for some cape, cape shenanigans. Ugh, trying to punish an up smash with his own up smash with gets punished with his own Meek's own up smash. That was just an up smash bonanza. Trying to go for the edge guard there and doesn't find its mark. Good back air, gonna put Meeks off stage, but you, Mario's one de Well, most characters can recover if they aren't interrupted in this game. The number of characters who can't reliably re recover from being sent off stage in this game can, without being interrupted did, can be ca probably counted on one hand. Maybe not if you count both both Belmonts. Okay, here we go. Keep, gotta keep Meeks off stage. Siri, really? I didn't get that. Could you try again? Uh, okay. I don't know how I triggered that. That was probably a situation where he could have punished with an up smash, but after that last one, kind of understandable that KJ's not anxious to go for it again. Good awareness from Meeks to not uh, to shield the reflected fireball. And the back air trade for the second stock. KJ maintains the lead here, but he had a pretty big lead in the last game too, and then lost it all to a few reads and a very hard read with the forward smash. So KJ would be unwise to assume that it's over. Oh boy, here we go. Not gonna be taking a stop, but taking them to 70%. Finds an ups. Wow. I'm pretty sure that was a sour spot, and that still nearly took the stock. It's either player's game right now, but KJ cannot afford to lose this game if he wants to advance on to grand finals. Finds the classic near into up smash to take this game. KJ now with one on the board. to game four. So KJ finally has a game on the board, but as I said, he's got to win two more to take this match, which is a very tall order indeed against Meeks. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Back to the match. Not off to a great start here for KJ. Seems like Meeks has made some crucial adjustments to... Well, or maybe not. KJ's starting to close the gap here, but at 
back throw, not quite enough at that percent. Uh, but up smash absolutely is. Okay, good punish. Not just barely missing the up airs to start a chain. Going for simple damage, just. I mm, feel like he could have gone for a roll read there. <laughs> but up smash, what more needs to be said? That's not good for KJ. They did now putting Meeks off stage. Good call out on the forward air, but gets forced back by the get up attack to reset to neutral. Uh, had, might have had, had something planned there, but got caught by the lingering there. Yep. Okay, you're just going for the simple damage conversion instead of trying to... <laughs> hey, that was a, ve a very poor choice of down smash. Eats the a fox up smash for the stock. Starting out with the grab, and here we go. Fox up airs. 48%! Ouch! But Meeks finds an up smash to, cl to close the stock gap. Uh, that should have been KJ's grab, but got, missed the chance, and Meeks got one instead. Nice conversions. But this was where he was in game two, and then... So it's not, can't consider it over till it's over. <laughs> there was an up smash finding its mark. Okay, no, KJ not falling for a smash, forward smash that time. Ooh, nice back air just barely beating out the, and trying to go for the ledge trump I respect the attempt Oof, up smash not quite enough it's down to the wire folks back air just barely gonna do it And all the match, it's all down to this. Where's the counter pick gonna go to? Just another small battlefield. These games have been very close, so it, I really don't know where this one's going to go. Oh, dropping, messing up the down air. That's a bit unfortunate for Meeks. Oh. Oof. KJ just not afraid to throw an up smash into the... Dash attack combos for uh, right now it definitely feels like KJ's in control of this game. Ooh, barely missing the de the back air confirm. This time does manage to get the up rever reverse up smash punish. Uh, Meeks is just spamming up 
smash attacks, which granted isn't super uncommon for Mario's to do because those, those their smash attacks are very good and surprisingly safe. The, you can only get so far with that tactic. There's a back air dash attack and a not gonna fault this time and using an early up beat to force KJ back. Back throw not enough at this percent and from mid middle of the stage. <laughs> Catching them on the ledge with the dash with the attack. Wanted a roll read there, and good patience from KJ to wait for this parry the second back air. Another dash attack. It's hitting a lot of hits in, but just none of them are finishing blows, which is one of the bigger weaknesses of Mario. If you aren't finding, outside of smash attacks, it's very difficult for Mario to find the finishing blow. <laughs> up air of all things does it that percent it's definitely and Neek's losing a stock to the jab lock up smash yeah. it's gonna take some a really hard read or cheese for Needs to get back into this game. There's a there's an up smash punish at least. Gonna throw KJ off stage. Getting a bit eager for that up smash. <laughs> Dash attack. Might be another stock where Meeks lives to, well, lets KJ live to some absurdly high percent. Which is all the wackier when you remember that Fox is the fourth lightest character in the game. He should not be living past 150. Uh, getting a bit greedy for that up smash. There we go. Parry into up smash for the... Finally taking the second stock. Still makes his... Uh, has an uphill climb ahead of him to take this game. These trades are definitely not in Meek's favor here, especially since I need a few more of them and he'll, he will be at prime per percent to lose... <laughs> a stock out of nowhere. I'm not sure if he could have extended further there, but sometimes it's wiser to just accept that you can't instead of going for a punt, a uh, combo attempt that will get punished. And jab lock into up smash again for the match. KJ with the reverse three. Oh. Me. Oh. Okay. If it had, a, had ended at that game three, this would have been a story of why it's good to have a counterpick ready, but instead it's a reminder that counterpicking alone is not enough. It's, it can definitely help, especially when you have a matchup as dreadful as Samus Fox. But at the same time, when you pick your se those secondaries, they're inevitably not going to be as polished as your mains, and sometimes that lack of polish is what will do you in. Now on to grand finals, folks.
Fun fact, Shaitan is not like good friends and I think was or still is a major saint. Um, nowadays, uh, I think we can text that. Oh, yeah. I respect that you're trying to get them to line up with the. Uh... Well, thank you to Greed for getting it to line up as good as possible. We'll s we'll see if KJ can can take this, but against Greed, that is a. That isn't just a tall order. That's the Empire State Building of orders around here. To take two sets back to back against Greed is will be the up, biggest upset in months, probably. And Greed is show, showing he is not playing around, turning that revenge into that revenge side B scenario into the first stock at ninety percent. If you're wondering, the Burj Khalifa of of Tall Orders would be trying to, t to reverse two sets against Oa. But he's not here, understandably, because of the weather. have gotten another up hour out of that but <laughs> big punish almost losing the stock but not quite di it is very di cool. going into the stage mixing up the, the timings for recovery which is wise as fox because you do not want to give them an easy two frame but calling out the get up with the Nair to take the second stock. KJ getting a jab to reverse the, the situation. Still not in a great spot here. Okay. Doing the safe option. If you're, if you're gutsy and have a full shield, you can absolutely leave parry the last hit of Lariat and then go for a big punish. But Greed coming out swinging game one. Hmm. The... Does... The Incineroar main wanting WarioWare? That seems sus. Oof. KJ's not off to the worst start here. And greedy greed gets caught off stage, getting greedy himself and losing the stock for it. I'm sorry, folks. The puns just write themselves with the, the tag like that. Ooh, and gets the down air spike to close out the first stock. I feel like that was a missed opportunity from KJ to really get some wacky up up air chain started. Then again, sometimes if it's not true, it could have backfired spectacularly. Ooh, that how okay, that surprise that was was the stock.
now that I think about it, greed is at 105, so I would only take like one or two more re good reads from KJ to take to close out the stock. Though, will he get that chance? Nope. <laughs> Down tilt, two frame into F tilt to just destroy that stock. Already, greed is on tournament point. I mean, granted, KJ did go from a two-game two deficit to winning against Meeks last set, but that was against Meeks. This is against Greed. Unfortunate. Greed knows when to go for that neutral B to turn situations around. Once again, using that invincibility to just tell KJ, no, you cannot have... This situation is not yours to freely control. And again! Almost loses the stock there. Just barely, nope, gonna be thrown back off stage and... So, does get the tech this time, though. Not gonna be lo losing an early stock for, for now. Just going for the random dash attack and it finds its mark. Oof, there he, there's a good nice side B. Good, good jab pressure from KJ to not allow a grab to get through, but gets grabbed by that. Not going to be losing a stock, but definitely not going to be in a good position here. Now has to worry about the revenge, which Lowland Whip with oh, and a Lowland Whip with that revenge could potentially be the stock. That might have actually saved Greed there. Yes, it did. But keep gets the dash attack into back air confirmed to keep it from getting totally spiraling out of his control. Good. Uh, but that's going to hurt. Probably the stock, too. Ouch. I'm not sure how much better of a punish KJ realistically could have gone for at that percent. No, no! And that is the match. That is one tough kitty. And, and one tough greed. Oh, well, I think that's going to do it for tonight, folks. I'll see you all maybe next week, but might not be until two weeks from now. Long story, but for those who watch this VOD after the fact, thank you and goodbye.